we're talking about in-cabin in the context of addressing the user needs. The user being the driver or the occupants. And needs are quite various. The baseline is safety. So definitely in-cabin needs to be uh, about safety. However, safety is a means toward survival. It's not a means toward making our life pleasurable. So definitely in-cabin is and must be about user experience as well. Today, the car is still a tool for us to take us to places where we want to go. Most of the time, our goal is not to be in the car, but we have no way around it, right? We have to get into the car to go places. Uh, this, I believe, with in-cabin sensing evolution will change and maybe the car will become a place where we would actually like to spend time, not just have to spend time. Third space is definitely a theoretical concept and we actually spend a bit of time to look at various thinkers from the world to understand what it could mean and what it would become in the car. But based on our understanding, a third space is a place where you are spending time because you want to, not because you have to, and where you are actually able to do the things that are of your interest to you. You know, where you can be productive, where you can be uh, entertained, where you can be taken care of in terms of uh, well-being, as well as your, where you can feel secure in terms of privacy. There are two things, two, two directions from which we can. Uh, uh, one which is maybe in our full control as a uh, technology ecosystem around in-cabin sensing is to continue to focus on developing technologies that enable advanced use cases. On the other hand, we need to do um, some thought leadership in order to change the perspective of the users in relation to, to the car. Uh, the car is still a utilitarian space and we need to think on how we can make it, as I mentioned previously, a space where uh, people will spend their time and enjoy spending their time there, either if they're on the move or if they have to, to stay in the car, either in traffic or in a charging situation and so on. In-cabin sensing will evolve in a number of distinct steps. As of today, uh, let's say the main driver is uh, safety and the regulations around safety. And this kind of puts pressure on the market to incorporate sensing technologies in the car and to look and to understand uh, advanced sensing algorithms and technologies. But from there, the immediate next step is, as you will have an extra hardware anyway, you're stuck with it there. We will have to think as an ecosystem, what are the extra benefits on the hardware? So we will start seeing on, on top of safety, which at the end of the day is not really something that the users really are interested about, right? They just expect the car to be safe. We will see more and more convenience, comfort and experiential features that are based on uh, uh, sensing and computer vision solutions in the car.